Hey everybody, uh, thanks again for joining us for another live video on YouTube and Facebook. I'm Randy here in the Eastwood Garage and today I've got Cody with me. How's it going guys? We got a lot of cool stuff today. We're going to go over rust solutions and we actually have some Camaro parts and we're going to show you how to blast them and, and also strip them chemically and actually so you're going to see from rust to actually primer, epoxy primer and rust encapsulate. Yep. Two different methods all live here on the air, air from rust to paint. and don't forget to like and share. Don't forget to follow and subscribe to us. That way you're notified when we go live. Um, so you'll be able to ask us questions. So if you have questions, all you have to do is post them in the comment section. We've got Matt here, who you've seen a lot of our videos, the Model A, Project Pile House. He's gonna be answering them live on the air. He'll be throwing some of the questions to us and we'll be able to answer them. If you're watching this recorded, you can still post uh, questions and comments and we'll try to answer them um, at a later time. And if you like and share, we got a bunch of stuff we're going to give away today. So all you have to do is share and you're entered to win. We're giving away cylindrical wire brushes. We're going to give away a small job blast system, pre-paint prep, internal frame coating, rust encapsulator. We're going to give away all that stuff. And to be entered, all you have to do is share it. So now, we went, now that we went over all that, what are we going to do today? All right, well, we got a lot of products on the table here. So let's talk about them for a little. So we got our gel rust dissolver. And that's how you'd submerge a part and remove rust chemically. Yeah. So that's nice. And then a chemical stripper. These are the ways that you can mechanically remove rust. We have our cylindrical wire brushes, which you chuck up in a drill, and then it's much faster than a hand wire yeah. brush. And you're actually gonna see these, we're actually gonna be using these later on when we strip the rust off of one of the parts. Yeah, and you have a wide surface area. This whole area is in contact with your surface. So it's much better than even a cup brush that you put in an angle grinder. Yeah. And then we also have our bristle disc over here from 3M. These are good for not putting heat into metal. And they come in different grits. Yep, we have a, a fine, a medium, and a coarse. And then over here, we have our Poly-X strip discs. These things are awesome. Yeah, I, I, I use these all the time. I love them, whether you're stripping paint or rust. These things do a great job. They last a good amount of time. One tip I have, I like to do is take an air nozzle from the compressor, blow them out once in a while, every few minutes, just to get all the, the rust and the paint out of them, clean them up, and, and uh, they really work, and they'll keep you know, and that's another way to help keeping the metal down. You keep these things clean, yeah. they work a lot better. And we got them in a four inch that you can put right into your angle grinder. And we also have a four and a half and a seven inch. Yeah, we got and these take big... a backing pad that we sell as well. Yeah, it's just a hook, uh, hook and loop fastener. Yep. And with that same backing pad, we also sell a red scotch right disc for light rust. Say you already stripped the car, but you have some surface rust you want to remove. That's what this is yeah, for. They it's work perfect really for that. good too. And then we have our blast out of bucket here. This is our new system. It has the same gun that our blast cabinet has. So it's proven, it works very well. We also have an improved pickup tube that'll prevent clogging. And we give you some consumables right yeah. off the bat so you'll be able to use the tool for a long time. And you're actually gonna see this gun in use because uh, like you said, it's the gun from our blast cabinets. Yeah. And we use the benchtop blast cabinet to clean off some of these parts. We're gonna show you that footage. And behind it, it also comes in that blast cabinet, which is new. That's our new modular in. cabinet. It's a sort of a medium sized yeah, cabinet. Yeah, we offer that. When you buy the cabinet itself, it comes with small legs mounted on top of a bench, but then we also offer a light kit if you want a full stand-up cabinet. Yeah, and then we offer a full, full-size blast cabinet yep. as well. So basically, if you need anything for blasting, from this blast out of a bucket kit to a large blast cabinet, blasts, we got you covered. And pressure blasters. Yeah. So, and now what, so what else we got? So oh, this how is about, how you'd remove rust. Yep. So then once you remove the rust with the blaster or the stripping disc, mm -hmm. you're going to want to etch the, the surface and clean it. So then we have our fast etch and our after blast. The difference between these two, the after blast has a mild detergent in it to help get rid of any of the grit left from the abrasive mm -hmm. media. The fast etch does not, but they're both the phosphoric acid that leaves a nice coating to protect the rust, to yeah. protect the metal from rusting while you're working on it. Well, you know, speaking you of that, this right here is a little sample from our store. If you ever check out our stores, Pottstown, um, also at Parma in yep. Ohio and uh, Illinois, uh, this is one that they did about four months ago just to show customers. You can see there's surface rust over the entire thing. Well, right here, they sprayed some fast etch. That was about four months ago. This thing gets handled by customers all the time, and you can still see it's still good yeah. bare metal. So it's lasted four months. It took it from that to this. And with mm -hmm. people handling it, the humidity of summer, everything, it hasn't, you know, it still looks great. So when it does come time to paint, you're going to hit everything with pre painting prep. Yep. So that's going to take anything left, any excess fast etch or any grease from fingers, you it's know, a good paint prep, wax, that kind of stuff. Yeah, it's a great prep for paint. Available in gallons, aerosols, 
low VOC. That's 50 state compliant. So we can, yeah, so that's, that's good about anywhere. Yep. So then moving on to our coatings, we're going to start with rust encapsulator. So if you didn't get all of the rust off the product, you got all the loose scale and you know, all the mild yeah. surface rust is there, but you still have some pitting, some areas where you couldn't get the rust, you want to use our rust encapsulator. This is going to encapsulate the rust and make sure it doesn't come back. It's almost like a primer, but it also seals in and encapsulates that rust. Yeah, it's great, like, like you said, like if you have pits, mm -hmm. you have some pitted metal, yeah. you, can, you can put the rust encapsulator over it, yeah. and then after it dries, sand it off, the rust encapsulator will stay in those pits, Exactly. and then you can ap apply your epoxy primer over that, or it's great if you're welding, so, so you spray it, like I said, it stays in the pitch, you sand it off, then you can put like a weld through primer, mm -hmm. And then you know if you're doing floor pans, you're going to be overlapping them. Yeah. So so that way you've got the metal, the the paint in the pits, you know. So then when you can top coat, it, it's a, it's encapsulated area that you didn't blast, which is another reason why you'd want to blast because blasting is going to get that, yeah. if possible, you know, blasting is a good way of actually removing the right. rust from those pits. And we'll show you that here in a little bit. And if you can't remove the rust either chemically or mechanically, you need to encapsulate, yeah. and that's what this product's for. And it comes in a bunch of colors. Actually. Yeah, we have some safety just, gray. It's not just the black that you're going to see us use. We have safety yellow. I think we have clear. Silver. We have I a think. red oxide. Kind of mimics a red oxide primer. Yeah. If you go to eastwood.com, you'll see there's a yep. whole bunch of that. Yeah, and we have this product in gallons, quartz, aerosol. And then we also have a textured rust encapsulator and a rubberized rust encapsulator. The textured rust encapsulator is great if you have pits, you're not looking for a flat finish but you're looking to kind of hide the pitted surface. Yeah. You so know, it's good it, on, it's say, a truck its, frame. Yeah, it'll sort of add its own, right. its own texture, so the texture exactly. isn't pitted rust. Yeah. It's a, you know, you're going to get the texture in it'll there. It'll even that texture out. Yeah. Our rubberized is great for areas, wheel wells, under car. You know, it's good to use, say, in the spring and fall, yeah. right before winter. Up here in the Northeast, we get prepare for winter, winter and we get salt on our roads. You come out of winter, you clean it up, yeah. those areas that are worn down, you know, you, you recoat them or, you know, you get a nice black, shiny black coating, you yeah. know, whatever black coating again. Because that's a combination of encapsulator and, and an undercoating. undercoating. Yeah. But it, what's nice too is that it actually cures. It's not like a rubberized undercoating yeah. that stays, you know, mushy. Mm -hmm. So then next to that, we have our internal frame coating. This is a unique product for us here. It's a very, very popular product. Yeah. So As we found out, also very popular with Jeep guys. Yeah, we were just at the Jeep show last weekend and a lot of guys liked it. Yeah. So over here, we have a little prop. So demo this. This is the nozzle that comes with the internal frame coating. It's about 20 inches long and it has a conical spray pattern. So it comes, you're going to find an access hole in the frame and then you're going to enter it into the frame and then you're going to spray and pull out of the frame, and it allowing it's it to coat, coat the whole inside. 60 degrees. It's going to flow. It's designed to move, get into all the nooks and crannies, all the little yeah. weldings. It's, it's a very thin, it's a very yes. thin paint. And, um, this, this example here is green, that's the original color, but now it's also offered in black. Yes, so we have both to cover yeah. whatever you want We actually like have some footage of it in use, um, so we can show you. Right here, as you can see, th this is just a test we did in a pipe, a piece of downspout. So you can see how it comes out everywhere, and then when it's done, it's completely coated. It almost it creates just, a fogging effect. Yeah, you just make sure you're, you're rotated. And here's, here's one we did in a, in a truck. I like to tape up as many of the holes as possible because, like I said, it's running, it'll come out. And especially this is a truck somebody was driving. Mm -hmm. So you just tape up as many as you want, find holes, stick it in, you know, and then just spray and pull the hose, push the hose back and forth until the entire inside, you know, of the frame's coated. Yeah, and, and it's, taping up the holes. If you already have your frame coated, mm -hmm. it's a good thing to do so that way you don't leave any green or black paint running, running out of the holes. It's also good, I mean, if you have other areas, doors, anywhere yeah. you can't, you know, any areas in a car you can't reach. You know, it's also a good way to, you know, to protect, whether it's a restoration or, or a daily driver. It's, exactly. You know, protected from the inside out as well. Yep. So moving along over here, we have our direct to metal epoxy primer. So on parts that you blast and then hit with fast etch or after blast, you clean them off with pre, you're going to want to get them into primer yeah. quickly. So our epoxy primer is great for that. It's, it's designed to go direct to metal. to metal. We have it in it's low VOC, so it's 50 state compliant. We have this in quartz, gallons, and then what's unique, we also have this in our 2K aerospray. This is what we're going to use today, and we'll yeah. show more of that later. Yeah, we'll show you this. Yeah, this is something you got to see in action. It's yeah, it's awesome. Incredibly durable paint. We'll show you how it works. And then once you get something in epoxy primer, you're going to want to coat it again. And we have our extreme chassis black for that. We have this. We also offer a chassis black, which is we've had forever. Yeah. It works great. And then the extreme has more content of pigment and mm -hmm. ceramic, so it's a little more durable. It's a little harder. And we also have this in 2K, and a 2K aerospray, and a 2K mix in a quart yeah. as well. 
So, so let's get started. Yeah. So the, the first thing we're going to do is let's get started with the one we blasted. I guess we okay. should show them how we got, got this far. Yeah, let's do that. Um, so this is a uh, uh, part off of the, the Camaro that goes from the radiator support over to the fender. Or yeah, the it's, front it's wheel a little well. fender support. And we blasted it in our benchtop blast cabinet. And, and really, it, it's, it's so simple. We just use some glass beads. And as you can see, you know, it strips, strips the rust really quick, gets into pits, strips everything out of the pits. And um, it's just, it's really a great way to remove all the rust and all the paint. Yeah. And it's not dirty because it's in a cabinet. Well, one thing, just having it here the last couple of days, you know, we've been handling it, yeah. showing it to people, and uh, the surface rust already come back just yeah. from touching it, the oils I, on your fingers, hands. Because I should have put After Blast on it right after away. We blasted. Yep. Let me, sh I don't know if we can get Joe in here and show you, since we have two of these braces here side by side. Yeah, and you can see the one that Joe, we hit with the wire brush. In, a close up. You can see what I was talking about earlier about pits, how blasting gets the rust. Let me find. So, like, here you go. So you can see, oops. You got it? Jeez, okay. So here you can see the, the, the pits in the, the pits in this brace that we blasted are clean, but this one here with a, that we went over with a, with a wire brush, and you can still see they're dark because there's still some, you know, some rust remaining in there. Yeah. But we're going to show you how to take care of that. And we're also going to show you how to do this one here that's blasted. So I'll hand this over to Cody. I'm going to check any questions. All Again, right. um, if, you're just, if you're just tuning in, we're, just, uh, we're showing you how to take some, some parts from rust to paint. If you have any questions, post them. We're answering them live on the air. And if you share it, we're giving away a bunch of stuff. We're giving away wire brushes, um, the blast out of a bucket kit, internal frame coating, pre-paint prep and rust encapsulator. So all you have to do is share it and you're entered to win a, you know, a bunch of this stuff. So, so let me get some gloves on here. There is acid in After Blast, so you want to protect yourself. Matt, is there anything we need to answer on air? You, you pretty much got it. Like, they're just telling us they, yeah, that's good. Ooh. All right, so turn the key this to down this, a little. Uh, the key to this is to keep it damp, correct? Yes, yes. So you want to spray and saturate the part. And 30 minutes is about how long it takes for it to really do its job. But in five to 10 minutes, you can really see a change. So while that's wet, why don't we wire brush so we'll set up this other one over the here. Other part. So we have this. Uh, that is a bracket bra that would hold the windshield <laughs> washer fluid yeah. on the 67 Camaro behind us. This might be the best looking part of the car. As you can see, I'm not joking it in, you can see that this thing's heavily rusted. Definitely a Northeast, uh, Northeast car, United States. So you can see all this rust here. So we'll put it in the vise. I'll let Cody ha enjoy the job. Did we not so we're going to take this wire brush. Let's clean this off. Should I go get the drill? These are our stainless wire brushes that we sell. We primarily sell them for welding. They work very well. We've got them in a bunch of different sizes. And the whole point with rust encapsulator is to get all the loose scale and rust, all the flakes, everything you can get off with the wire brush you want to. And even though we're not using the cylindrical wire brush, we will be, we will yeah. be giving these away. And it is much faster with the cylindrical wire brush. Uh, let's see what we got going on here. Okay. 
I didn't know watching rust being removed could be so exciting, actually. Maybe it's just you, Cody. Maybe. We've only had 21 people share this so far. That's, I mean, there's good, that's, there's a good chances of winning a, a prize here. Maybe we should give out something better. Get more people to share it. Are you up for it? Are you up for, what do you want to give up? A date with Cody. I don't think anybody wants that. We'll see. Give away a MiG-135 though. You can make that happen, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're giving away wire brushes, glass out of a bucket, a bunch of different paints for sharing it. All right, so we got the loose rust and scale off this bracket. So now we're gonna wanna clean it up with some pre-painting pre prep. <laughs> and we'll sit again. <laughs> some pre paint pep. So do this. Wait. Oh, let me move, move the there. iPad out of the area. Can we do this out here? Joe, can you get in there and see this? So I'm trying to saturate the part, and then I will come back with a clean rag, wipe it down. And you can see just how much rust and dirt you're removing. And we used the regular, we were just using the regular pre-paint prep for this. Yep. We could have used, like we said earlier, if you're just checking in, we, we offer a low VOC of our version of pre-paint prep that 50 state compliant. Gallons, quarts, aerosols. If you're just, and if you're just checking in, uh, we have a part over there that we already uh, uh, sprayed after blast on and we're letting that cure. And then we're gonna actually coat that in epoxy primer something you don't want to miss because we'll show you the technology behind our 2k aerospray epoxy primer and um, and then this one we're going to coat with our rust encapsulator which is one of our most popular products uh, to show you because there's two common ways if you have a blaster and you can blast it that's the way obviously I recommend Re always remove as much rust as possible a lot of times you don't have that option for various reasons and here's another one just with a, a wire brush like this yep or remove or it with something like brushes. cylindrical wire brushes and you know you can get it down to this to where it's pretty clean and then you're just going to coat it with our rust encapsulator. All right so we got the scuff pretty good we got the loose rust off of it still pretty rusty but that's what it's our rust encapsulator is designed to work with. Okay so let's coat. So now it. we hang it up so we're gonna go over here. Come over here hang this part up. Shake our can for about. Oh, okay. I should start doing that. With our paints, you definitely want to shake them thoroughly before each use. We recommend two to three minutes. So while Randy, why don't you show them that hood latch assembly? <laughs> so while he's shaking, uh, so right here is an awesome hood latch assembly which you may you're probably going to see us blast in an upcoming video because really the only way you're ever going to remove rust from in these areas is with a blaster yeah i mean you could dip it and let it soak in some gel rust dissolver too but you know you're not going to get everything as good as these brushes are you know you're not going to get into all these little tiny areas really with anything other than a blaster and if you're looking for blasting supplies, like I said, we have about everything that you need, including all the different kinds of media type. Like we'd probably use maybe ground glass on this. We should sell different, yeah, bunch I of different grits ground of ground glass. glass. Earlier when we did uh, the brace, we used glass beads. Glass so. beads great for a cabinet. It doesn't mar the surface much. It just mm -hmm. kind of removes the rust and scale. So let's give this a shot. So now after you coat this, you'd probably put a couple coats of rust encapsulator on here, correct? Yeah, I would put this first coat on just nice and light, and then I would let it sit for about half an hour. And then top coat it with like chassis black. Well, and then I would hit it with another coat of rust encapsulator. So you would go three cure. coats. I would do two coats. Oh. So I'm going to do this coat, wait a half hour, yeah. do another coat, and let it fully cure. Okay. And then hit it with chassis black. So if you guys have a lot of questions, comments, that's what, six to eight hours from now?
we can keep going. Yep. We could try. So, or otherwise we'll just move on to something else. There's that first coat. Hey, miss a spot here. Eh, don't worry. Whoa. It's at the bottom there. Yeah. So now that we got this cover and rust encapsulated, we should go back over, check the fast etch. Cause like we said, you, you gotta keep it moist. Yes, you do. So let's hit so. this one more time, keep it wet. Like we said, if you have any questions, you know, post them, or you can also let us know what you guys want to see in the future. So if you have any ideas for a live video, uh, Matt has a bunch coming up. We got welding, we got an English wheel. That's all in the future. So make sure you subscribe, make sure you follow us. I think later this week we're talking about doing one on the electric DA. Yeah, two days from now we have one. So Friday afternoon at three, you're going to see us doing one if you're into uh, polishing a car. Uh, you're going to see two of our, a, a brand new, sander actually in use on Friday and we're going to try to do a couple of these a week so just make sure you follow so you're notified and then that way you can interact ask us questions live and we can answer them live so now and we got the wet off Randy yeah. so now we're going to go with pre yeah we're going to hit it with the low VOC pre which is an acetone based product you know whenever you get acid on the metal you want to either neutralize it with water or acetone that's what we recommend so saturate array And then after we get it this clean, dried, then we're going to go to... And then we're going to go to our 2K Aerospray Epoxy Primer. Which we will definitely show you how that works. Because that is, like, like we were saying earlier, that's a really cool product. Just great technology. The fact that you can get such a durable coating out of an aerosol can. So, so while we let that flash off, show we'll everybody the 2K the, the Aerospray. The 2K. Let's make sure we get out here where Joe can get in and get a good shot so we can show how it works. All right, Joe. Can you see? All right. So this is our 2K Aerospray Gray Epoxy Primer. It looks, right now it looks like a typical aerosol can. Yeah, but what's unique about this product is the can inside the can that holds a little bit of activator to activate this 13.3 ounce charge of paint. So there's there's basically a bladder inside of it. Yes. And when you remove the button from the top. So you have a button on the top, it sits in there, and then you're actually gonna get this set up. And then it's and it's gonna puncture the bladder and introduce the catalyst. There so it now is. that's punctured. So now the catalyst and the paint are can be mixed together. Just like and this is like a two component yeah. urethane paint. Like you spray out a spray two component gun. Epoxy, yep. Except for now it's in and the yeah, other thing it's great okay. for, besides just doing something like this, is if you put your car in epoxy primer, you end up doing some body work, you sand through in some areas, you got some bare metal. Instead of mixing up a whole nother paint gun, another right. quart, you can just buy a can of this and touch up all those spots that, you can touch up all those spots you missed without having to dirty a paint gun and have all, all that clean up, all the prep, all that. The prep here is, Puncture the Simple. bottom of it and shake yep. for two minutes. No cleanup afterwards. Yeah. Dispose of the can when you're done. And this will last for about 48 hours before it fully cures yeah. in the can. So you have 48 hours to use all the product, which is a good amount of time. Yeah. The, uh, the nice thing about this too, our epoxy primer, it's a pain to clean out of the gun. Uh -huh. I mean, it's, it, it's strong, it's durable, and it cures. Yeah. So the one thing with our, when you do a quart or a gallon of epoxy primer, once you're done with it, you definitely want to clean your paint gun right away. And this is nice because that eliminates that problem. Yeah, it eliminates all that extra work. Yeah. But because it is a two component, when you spray this, you're going to want to wear you're going to want to wear a respirator. respirator. That's NIOSH approved. Yeah. Which is also available at Eastwood. All of our other stuff. Yep. We carry the SAS Bandit respirators as well as the Gerson respirator. Please get in on. Don't for, oh, don't forget here at Eastwood we run a daily deal. So if you check in on our website, you'll see a little banner for our daily deal. Great product every day. It's usually 10% off and free shipping. So it's another good reason just to check Eastwood is, you know, just to, you know, to see what's on sale that day, what kind of deal you can get. Plus we've got tons of tech articles. We've got what, about 1400 videos, a lot of restoration tips, techniques, how to use our products from how to use a MIG welder, how to use a TIG welder, how to use an English wheel, how to make floor pans, 
in the Corvair, you know, all kinds of uh, articles that are going to help you with, or videos and articles that are going to help you with your restoration. So now they got it mixed up. And like I said too, um, if you if you share this, you're going to be entered to win. We're giving away a bunch of this stuff that you see out here on the on the table. So all you got to do is share it, and we'll select some people uh, when this when we're done with this live video, and uh, we'll just notify you here later today. So this 2K is available in a lot of different colors. It's not just an epoxy primer. I mean, we sell top coats. We offer we offer in engine paints now too as well. Correct. I mean, we just came out with that. So if you're painting an engine, you want a durable coating, you know, you got to check out, if you go, you want to check out uh, 2K Aero Spray, and you'll see everything that we offer, it, not just primer, top coats, and, and high heat engine paints. Yep. Yeah, so similar to a rust encapsulator, I'd let that first tack coat cure for a bit, yeah. and then I'd hit it with the second coat. And then we um, would go to a... The and then we'd let that fully cure. Epoxy primer does take a good bit of time to cure yeah. fully to get its full strength. And we offer it in the, the epoxy primer he sprayed on was gray. Mm -hmm. We have it in black as well. Yes, we do. So, well, this is so this is probably about it. But is there anything else? We, do you want to show the fast etch? Just spray it on and wipe off once. Should yeah. we do that? Yeah, we can do that. All right. Yeah. Let's if we can get Joe over here to the Camaro. On. While we're here, we'll just spray some fast etch on some of the rust. Just show you how you can wipe off surface rust with it, like we did on the uh, that example from the from our store. Yeah, we stripped this car back in September. Just even sitting indoors, it's been a while. So while he's doing that, I'm gonna just check to see if we have any comments that we need to answer here. Or do you think we're good, Matt? Pretty good. All right. So with the slight surface rust, I mean you can even see there's fingerprints. Get in here, Joe. There's just some fingerprints and stuff just from oils that are left on your fingers. And as you're moving the car around, working on it, you're left with some of these. So I would just spray this product on, let it sit for a bit. And then just really start wiping it off. Just wipes right off. And now it's going to be protected like that piece that we showed you from the store that's been like four months. Exactly. So that whole area got rid of all that surface rust and it's in a protected coating. Do we know the coverage area of this? We should check. We would say about 10 square feet. Is that what it does? Yeah. So we had, we had one question in the coverage area. I think it's probably about 10, 10 square feet for this. Yeah, I, I would check the product page on yeah. eastwood.com to confirm, but most of our aerosol can, cans do about 10 square feet. We can, yeah, we can confirm that and get, uh, get back to you later. So I guess that's about it for today. Okay. So, like I said, you got to see all this stuff. If, <clears throat> um, if you missed it, it will be recorded, and you will be able to watch it later on Facebook or on YouTube. And, yeah, so make sure you, you know, subscribe, so that way you know, you're, you're notified when we do these videos. We took everything from rust to, as you can see, rust encapsulator there and epoxy, epoxy primer, primer there. We got another live video coming up on Friday, and we got a couple next week. We got our summer classic in a week and a half. We're going to be live from our summer classic in Pottstown, our big car show. So if you tune in that Saturday, July 30th, 2016, um, you're going to get to see everything that's going on at our car show as well. Got a couple questions that you guys want to answer. Yeah. Okay, as long as they're easy. Sure. So Matt says we have a couple questions, so we're going to try to take them now. Does the fast etch leave any residue after it dries, or is the finish you show there how it stays without needing to clean it? I used a different rust remover and it left a white film. So 
our fast etch, if you spray it on, let it sit, not, don't let it dry, and then wipe it off while it's wet, you'll be left with the finish you see there. If you let it sit and dry fully, it may leave a white finish, it may leave a gray waxy finish, and that's just the excess fast etch sitting on top of the surface. So what you want to do with that is hit it with more fast etch, turn it all back to a liquid, and then wipe it off. And then you need to neutralize that surface with water and acetone. Okay. Water or acetone, I apologize. Or like our low VOC pre. Yeah, low VOC pre. It's, it's essentially an aerosolized acetone product that's mm -hmm. great for that. Yes, so yes. just like we're saying here, you'd want to hit it with either water or acetone, and then before you paint, you're still going to want to hit it with pre. And if I was going to do a car, I mean, you're going to want to tack cloth. We and saw, we've got yeah. some videos on how to prep a car for paint. Yeah, we have uh, Kevin Tate's doing his entire 1978 Camaro. So if you want to see how to take it from basically all the steps of painting, prep, yeah. even how to use a spray gun, you'll check that out. Yeah, and there's a lot, the prep is... The prep is everything yeah. with painting. Yeah, pre-paint prep, the tack cloth. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Anything? That's it. That's it. Cool. All right. Well, thanks for joining us for another live video. Thanks, Cody, for all Thank the help. You. And uh, like I said, don't forget to tune in Friday, tune in next week, and tune in the 30th for our summer classic. Yep. Take right. care, guys. See you.